What's up, y'all? I'm Chris Kidder. I'm a comedian here in Southern California, Hollywood, and I started the carnivore diet four weeks ago. Today is one month. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Four weeks ago, I feel fantastic. I will say that. Look, I did a one week update. People are like, ah, that's not long enough, but keep it up. Well, after one week, I did. I, I felt kind of the same and I did discuss that, but I did notice I dropped some water weight and whatnot. So after one month, I notoriously pop Tums like candy for acid reflux, indigestion. I would eat anywhere between probably three to 10 Tums a day, depending on what I was consuming. It's because of sugar, it's because of processed foods, all that shit. I cut all that out. I've been on a strict carnivore diet. I will say in the last four weeks, the one thing I had, the one thing I had, I went on the road doing comedy shows. I was in Wichita for three nights and on my third night, I had two Coronas. <gasps> I had two beers. I know, I know, I know. Uh, I honestly, it was a test. I've never done an extreme diet like this before. I wanted to see, can my gut handle it? Not so that I can go out and just start drinking because that's going to defeat the purpose of doing this diet. But I wanted to just enjoy a beer and then I enjoyed a second beer and I wanted to see if it really affected me. I didn't feel any side effects from it. I woke up the next day, still had great energy and everything. So, okay. Uh, that's an anomaly. I'm not going to do that often, but it was nice to know that it didn't completely destroy my digestion, my digestion. It didn't destroy my digestive tract and I was still progressing. Some of the benefits over the last month, mental clarity for sure. I notoriously fall asleep behind the wheel. Like I'll drive, especially in LA, you're in traffic, constantly in traffic. So an hour traffic here, two hours traffic there, and you're rocking back and forth, hitting the brakes, hitting the gas, hitting the brakes, hitting the gas. I would put myself to sleep. I went out on the road. Coming back from Wichita, we drove 21 hours straight. We swapped, my buddy and I. I drove 15 out of the 21 hours. 15 hours. 15 hours. Alert, wide away, just present. I feel great mentally. I was writing jokes yesterday with my friend and he was like, damn dude, you're on fire. And I was like, I don't know, man. I'm just like, it's just, it's just popping in my head. He would start a joke and I would tag it. Boom, boom, boom. I would have funny responses. And he was just like, what is going on? I think it's just the, the cognitive clarity, the, the mental clarity. I feel great. Did my way in this morning. Look at this. Where are we? This is one month into the carnivore diet. What? What? Yeah, baby. That's right, y'all. I lost 10 pounds, 10 plus pounds. Look, I was, I was floating between 220 and like 228. I did a physical two and a half months ago and I actually hit 230 pounds. I'm not talking about that weight because the day I weighed in a month ago, I was 220. That's what the scale said. I could have been 224 the next day. We all know it fluctuates, but it was 220 the day. So that is my benchmark. And then I weighed in today and it was 209.8. That felt great. I had my wife do my measurements. I'm happy my arms stay the same because my arms are not, I don't have big wings or anything like that. I don't have, don't have the bat wings. I have like that belly, right? I have the, the visceral fat, the pregnant belly look. My legs are fairly athletic. My arms athletic enough, I guess. They're just not big. All my weights in my waist but I did lose an inch on my neck. So I went from 17 inches on the neck to 16. That's good because before I gained weight, I had always been a 16 inch neck. So that's good. I got back down to the 16 inch neck. And then my waist, I lost three and a half inches on my waist. So one month, 28 days, cause four weeks, I have lost three and a half inches off my gut, off the, the, the midsection. So I'm feeling great about that. As far as inflammation, inflammation is a big thing for me. I got my first cortisone shot in my lower spine about four months ago. That was one of the most painful things I've ever had to do is having this thing shoved up my back. It was a little terrifying to be honest, but I started feeling better after that, but I was still stiff and, and still had back pain and, and some joint pain. Over the last month, a lot of that has subsided. I've gone out on jogs, just light jogs, three mile jogs, just getting the body moving again, but no like residual joint pain. I'm not waking, I'm waking up in the morning, just awake. Before I work in the film business, so I work contract to contract. So a lot of times I'm getting my kids ready in the morning, getting them off to school while my wife is already off at her job. And so in the morning I wake up and usually I'm groggy. I'll go, I'll feed my son some breakfast. And then I'm like, well, I got 
25 minutes to kill so i'll go close my eyes for 15 minutes and then i'll get up and start making their lunches and then we'll we'll mosey out the door right so that's usually my mornings well over the last month i've just been more alert more awake i'm getting a good night's sleep i'm sleeping well i've had a few nights i will say this i have had a few nights where i'm getting up four or five times going pee and i think it's because i've i'm ingesting so much water i'm taking that element electrolyte packs i'm just doing the plain one i really like that it's it's, uh, you know, instead of just drinking plain water, it tastes almost tastes like a lemon lime Gatorade, pretty salty. So you do have to dilute it quite a bit. I actually use a half a pack and do it twice. Um, so that's a 24 ounce bottle of water. And I am doing that twice with a half a pack. So that's been nice. And then I did start doing uh, two weeks ago, I started doing beef liver supplements. So I'm not consuming beef liver, but I am taking the supplement and that seems to be fine too like my body's handling everything well and i'm very happy about that i actually got up on stage last night and talked almost eight minutes about the carnivore diet and going across america and going into small town america and ordering cheeseburger no condiments no bread no nothing i just want the the burger and the cheese and people were losing their minds like what do you mean you don't want bread like you need a it's a cheeseburger you need the People were losing their mind. You hear people in the kitchen. Well, how did, what is it? Does he want us to wrap it in paper? Does he want us to put it in a carton? I'm like, I don't care. It's going in the same place. It's going to my stomach. I don't care. It's just, I just don't want all the other garbage around it. One lady, I asked for two triples at Wendy's. Two triple Dave's, whatever they're called, with cheese. And she put each one on its own platter. And she sandwiched each cheeseburger with cheese. So there was a slice of cheese, a hamburger patty, and a slice of cheese. Like she's so programmed to sandwich meat between something that she had. Okay. Thank you. I guess that was funny. It's just funny to see people's reaction when you go across America. It really is. I don't want the asparagus. I just want the prime rib. They're like, well, you got to have this. Si I don't got to eat it. Like, don't waste it. Don't bring it out. I'm not going to eat it. But I've felt great. I, I really have. I'm going to continue. I did say I'm going to do one month, see how my body reacts to it. If it reacts well, I'm going to do a second month. And then at the end of the second month, if I feel great, I'm going to go to June, which is when I have my annual physical. And I'm not going to say anything to my doctor. I'm going to have him do all my lab work and see what he says. I'm just going to see. I know he's going to start asking questions because if I go in there and I've lost 15 pounds, 20 pounds, he's going to be like, what changes have you made? Uh, some dietary changes. Well, what have you done? Just cut out processed foods. And I want to see what the lab work says. Because if he's just like, oh, dude, your cholesterol is through the roof. Like, what are you eating? Then I can, we can have that discussion and maybe I get a nutritionist involved. But for now, I'm going to push forward. Eating steaks, eating butter, eating salt eating hamburgers. Yesterday, I just had ground Wagyu with some bone broth and salt and just ate a soup. And I've done that a bunch where I put like three or four hard boiled eggs just sitting in there and I just kind of mix it all together and start eating it. I've found a lot of just good meals, easy meals to make. It's always like, do you make an easy meal or do you, you make a delicious meal that's going to take you a little more time to prep? Um, I think I'm going to smoke a pork belly this weekend just to celebrate. Um, my wife did ask me, she's like, can you do a pork belly? Because I am I mean, the pork belly is delicious. But I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut it in half, have one half for my wife and kids with the barbecue sauce the way they like it. And then I'll have another one that's just salted uh, and, and see how that is. Because I haven't just made just a plain salted pork belly. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out and taste that. That is the update. I am feeling great. I will uh, be back for more updates in the near future. This is a comedy channel. I have a lot of my comedy vlog. I vlog almost daily about the daily grind of comedy. With my thing, it's sex sells. To get up on stage, sex sells. To work in Hollywood, to work in front of the camera, sex sells. Yes, there's big people. I've been big, that dad bod, and I'm kind of over it. So I wanna go in healthy. I love doing comedy and i want to make sure i get to stick around for a long time so if you're here and you found this because of the carnivore diet you're interested that's cool i will be doing more updates along the way and if you have any questions please leave a question down below if you have any suggestions please leave them down below but make sure you like and follow this is a comedy channel i'm based on the west coast but i'm slowly going out across america doing vegas texas kansas i'm trying to
to get some shows booked up in New York. I would love to come to a town and share my comedy. I'm obviously going to incorporate some carnivore diet jokes here pretty soon. I do a lot of family jokes. I talk about my family, my family life, being married to a Filipino woman. So stick around. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.